Hi, I'm Kiki Bertens and this is my performance uh, at WTA and SIP. Madrid was a really nice tournament for me. Uh, the year before I reached already the finals, which I lost. So um, yeah, I was really excited to play the final again in Madrid against Simona, who was playing great throughout the whole week. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to look back on this, uh, yeah, this important match. Well, once I got into this tournament, uh, of course I felt good, um, which I had great memories of, of the year before. So, but. Also then there's a little bit of pressure because I knew I had a huge amount of points to defend. Yeah, Caja Magica is a really special place, I would say, to play in. It's a really nice center court. To be honest, I think there were a little bit more cheering for Simona. There were a lot of Romanian fans in there, but uh, that doesn't matter for me. It's just, I had my own support team there, which was great to look uh, look into in the final, uh, having my, my, my people there who were really supporting me. So uh, yeah, that was all, uh, all that I needed. There's a big backhand from Simona. And, uh, and that's her shot. <laughs> uh, back and down the line, yeah, that, that's I think her favorite shot. She can hit that from every position. So uh, I had to be ready for that and I was not uh, in that point now. There straight away is the, is the break. Oh, so well played. Played. I didn't have a good start to be honest, so. <laughs> I was just hanging in there. I think uh, in the beginning I didn't really start the match really, really well. I think my legs were not there yet. A little bit nervous, a little bit tired, but uh, I think Simona started great, but I was just trying to hang in there, trying to uh, bring back as many balls back into the court and then see uh, if I was getting some opportunities to attack the ball. Nope, doesn't find uh -huh. the court. Burton has the break right back immediately. Mm -hmm. I was confident at that point because I was still like, okay, even if you don't win this game, uh, you had a few opportunities already on Simona's serve, so just try and close it out. But uh, yeah, I was just really trying to think like what I had to do. Yeah, I think my shots were working better. My serve was definitely, that game was helping me a lot again. So um, yeah, it was a good close of, uh, close of the first set. And there it is, oh, Kiki Burton's. Back to the final for a second straight year. It takes 12 sets to win the title in Madrid. She's got 11. I started good straight away with the, with the break. And that's always nice after winning the first set, I think, to get the break straight uh, at the beginning of the other set. So uh, Simona was feeling the pressure, I think. And Halep finds herself on the short end once more. Five consecutive games for Burton's. I still cannot even like believe what, what happened here in this point. <laughs> oh, this is, this is an anomaly. And this is gonna sting, not so much from impact, but what it results in. Watch the ball on the fly here on the overhead off of Burton's racket. Couldn't get out of the way. She can't believe it. Once I won this point, I was like, I think this is my day. If I can even like win points like this, which of course I was so lucky, but already before I was hitting the lines, I think every break point I had, I made and Simona, she missed it. So yeah, it just felt everything was going my way in this moment, yes. I was so nervous, like with the serve, I had no idea where to go because it was already my third match point. So I was thinking, oh, where do I have to serve? And then it was a really good serve. And then I knew I, I always played a drop shot then, but I was so nervous to miss this shot. So uh, yeah, but I made it. And uh, yeah, you can see it so much happiness, relief, uh, everything. A chance at a fantastical finish vanished in the Madrid night one year ago. But a return to the Caja Magica 12 months later finds Kiki Burton's conjuring a majestic performance to create a magical finish in her effort this week. She moved through without dropping a set. 
the first winner of the Madrid Open to ever do so. It meant a lot, this final, because it was the biggest one of my career after winning Cincinnati, of course, um, reaching the finals the year before. I really wanted this title, and I also knew that like, if I was going to win this title, I was also going to... Um, get my career highest ranking of number four, which is also the best of uh, a female Dutch uh, tennis player. So I think with this tournament, really everything came together. So I was so happy after winning this. Well, thanks for watching this match with me. It was a great final. Feels like a long time ago, but hopefully um, I'm able to play tennis soon. So, and let's uh, hope we get uh, another big final soon. Bye. <laughs>